My Greyhound has bad gas. If you're watching this, you've likely been shocked by awful gas from your little sweet Greyhound. Flatulence in Greyhounds comes from hydrogen sulfide, which can develop in his digestive tract. The most common causes of this overabundance of gas are intestinal parasites, bacteria flowing into his gut from bad teeth, and the inefficiency of his digestive system. This video is different than any other you're going to find about your Greyhound's gas woes, because my goal is to teach you how to have a better life with your Greyhound. This means solving problems instead of settling for just masking symptoms. And make no mistake, gas is a symptom. In a survey I found over at the Grey Talk forum, 88% of Greyhound owners reported having been gassed by their pets. On the good side, two out of three of these owners say it's only a sometimes thing. 29% claim that their Greyhounds are, how do I put this delicately, frequent flyers? But about half that amount said that their dogs never have this problem. I'm sure that last group, if surveyed, would claim that denial is just a river in Egypt. Nonetheless, any Greyhound owner would greatly appreciate it if you'd share this video with him. And while you're at it, subscribe to the Greyhound Home Care channel. It's free! You're not a veterinarian, but your veterinarian can do more for your Greyhound if you give him clearer, more concise information. So if you haven't asked your vet, he has gas, what should I do? Many vets will say, change his food, because generally speaking, that's the most common cause of gas in dogs. From there, you're likely to find that things go from bad to worse, because changing foods is a splendid way to give your Greyhound moonshot-level gas. Then the vet will tell you to stop swapping food so much and give the dog a chance to adjust. In the meantime, the true cause may go untreated, leaving your best buddy miserable and paint peeling from your walls, or so it seems. Not only is gas painful, it could be the result of something that will impact his overall health and ultimately maybe even shorten his life. In defense of the vet, his diagnosis is, to some extent, just a reflection of the information that's given to him. A vet who has some experience with greyhounds knows to check his teeth first and screen for worms. In fact, it was my first greyhounds vet who taught me so much of the valuable information you're going to see in this video. What follows are many causes of gas in greyhounds, starting with these two biggies, which you must rule out right away because they can cause a multitude of health problems. The two most common causes of gas in greyhounds. Although your greyhound's food may irritate his digestive tract, a better question to ask is why is his digestive tract so sensitive in the first place? For greyhounds, the answer is often teeth and or worms. A more easily digestible food will help, but the teeth and worms must be dealt with immediately. Greyhounds with bad teeth. It's said that greyhounds often have bad teeth because their diet at the track is so soft and doesn't involve enough chewing to clean their teeth. Well, I think this is an oversimplification. Greyhounds in general are poor drinkers. Could the lack of rinsing contribute to the buildup of bacteria in their mouth? In case you missed it, I made an entire video about improving your greyhound's health by getting him to drink more water, and I'll link to that in the description. And soon I'm going to have a newer, better version of that one coming out. Regardless of how that bacteria builds up, it creates problems. It finds its way into your greyhound's gut and contributes to the gas. If your greyhound is uh, gaseous on a regular basis, bad teeth could be the culprit. Greyhounds are used to having their teeth looked at, so don't be afraid to have a look into his mouth. Get a flashlight and be sure to pull his lip back. Those teeth go back pretty far. Don't worry if you're not a doggy dentist. If your dog has nasty breath and his teeth look messy, it's time to get proactive about cleaning up his mouth. Greyhound gas can be a symptom of worms. Intestinal parasites are a common culprit of greyhound gas. Often these worms are microscopic. Greyhounds can get them as puppies from their mothers. They can also get them from eating something off the ground, because worms can live in the ground for 30 years. If your greyhound's gas shows up suddenly, and with a vengeance, every few weeks, worms could be the cause. What happens is the worms feed off the blood in your dog's intestines. They lay eggs, and they die. The waste from the worms creates a perfect storm of gas inside of your dog. Your vet will assess a stool sample from your dog. Assessing the sample will not only determine whether your pet has worms, but will also reveal what kind. Some medications target specific worms. Your greyhound will be prescribed one of these dewormers, and possibly an antibiotic to reduce any infection. Administer all the medication exactly as directed, and do not hesitate to call your vet's office if you're at all unsure of the plan.
With luck, you'll get rid of those worms on the first try, but don't be discouraged if they return. Sometimes it takes a while to get rid of them. Greyhounds get gas from eating what they shouldn't. The Great Outdoors, your Greyhound salad bar. Whether it's checking his p-mail a little too closely or eating free samples from the ground, greyhounds love to explore by tasting. Watch out because they also love to fake you out. You know, he'll pretend he's sniffing or he shoves his head into the roadside brush while he tinkles and suddenly that long tongue zaps out and sneaks a surreptitious lick. They like to taste where another dog has recently tinkled. They munch on grass, especially if it's the fresh new grass of springtime or if they're not feeling well. Grossest of all, they love to eat poop. If it's from another species, all the better. Kind of like people who enjoy eating hamburgers made from exotic wild game. All of these may cause gastric upset, which leads to the dreaded gas. Greyhounds graze indoors, too. One tricky thing about greyhounds is that one minute they're snug in their beds, and the next, there's a stick of butter missing from the counter. Your tall dog may be a counter surfer, which is yet another way he can end up eating something that will give him gas. Greyhounds have great curiosity, and they love to eat, in addition to the love for exploring I mentioned in the previous section. They're also strong and clever, yet they're not wise. So you want to devise ways to keep them out of your trash. This includes wastebaskets and even kitties' litter box. Greyhounds get gas from their food. Sometimes the gas is caused by what we are feeding our greyhounds. A word about food allergies. Food allergies and intolerances are the flavor of the month for the pet food industry. Food allergies are a long topic, which I'm going to save for another day. Let me reassure you, though, that true allergies are not at all subtle. And also, they're not very common. There are, however, certain foods and ingredients that often do not agree with greyhounds, which I go into at length in my article, What Foods Are Bad for My Greyhound? I'll link to that below. Read through that article. You may even want to print it and consult the label of your dog's food. Switching food can cause gas. Since switching your dog's kibble can itself cause gas, you don't want to do this unless he's constantly gassy and you've eliminated all the other possibilities mentioned in this video. If you do think kibble is the culprit, use What Foods Are Bad For My Greyhound to help you assess which ingredient may be the problem. Then get a small bag of kibble that does not contain that ingredient and face it into your dog's food gradually. On the first day, replace one quarter cup of his usual kibble with the new stuff. On the second day, replace a half a cup instead. Increase every day in quarter cup increments until he's completely switched over and see how he does. Add-ins can help or hurt. A good rule of thumb with greyhounds is that bland and steady is better. Mixing boiled rice and a bit of boiled meat in with the kibble can make it more digestible and less gassy. Greyhounds love vegetables, but avoid cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli and cabbage. Treats can be nasty. Just like with people treats, there's a stunning range of dog treats on the market, from junky and nasty to wholesome. Often, though, poor ingredients are pulled together with overly processed starches and masked with chemical dyes and flavorings. Doesn't sound very digestible, does it? Luckily, there are great options if you take the time to read the labels. One more thing you want to look for on that label. Try to get treats that are manufactured in your own country, especially avoiding those from China. The hidden gas producers in people food. Alliums, such as onions and garlic, are toxic to greyhounds, and the food we eat is full of them. Restaurant foods and processed foods in particular use these ingredients in practically everything because they taste good. Any kind of pepper is another ingredient that often does not sit well with greyhounds. You know, it's funny. Some greyhounds eat all kinds of things and never have a problem, and others are just more sensitive. Other problems which cause greyhound gas. There's a handful of other things worth mentioning which can cause greyhound gas. Like with some people, if your greyhound suffers an emotional upset, he may have a bout of gas, too. This can mean anything from a sudden loud noise, to thunder, to some conflict in your home. Believe it or not, some greyhounds even get car sick. If your dog seems to be acting as a car air anti-freshener, this may be something worth exploring and curing. My Lily is the first greyhound I've ever had who gets car sick. She just can't get it through her head that doing the traditional three spins before she lays down is a bad idea in a moving vehicle, especially one that's in the middle of making a turn. 
Finally, eating too fast is often a cause of gas, since they swallow so much air when they do so. I have a great article and video full of strategies for dealing with this particular behavior, and I'll link that below as well. What about syndromes? The word syndrome just means a set of symptoms that happen together, but the doctors can't seem to pin them down to a known disease or cause. I mention this because syndromes are another one of those labels that people just love to throw around in a way that can seem very narrow and hopeless and final. If you're told that your greyhound has IBS or another digestive syndrome, that's not the end of your journey. It's the beginning. Keep exploring until you find the cause or trigger of your greyhound's symptoms. Greyhounds somehow understand when you've helped them and made a change to improve their health, and the resulting gratitude is unmistakable and adorable. With that goal in mind, let's explore ways in which you can be proactive about your greyhound's gas. Help your greyhound's gas starting today. Start by keeping a journal. If you aren't sure what's causing your greyhound's gas, keep a journal for a while, say from one to six weeks. Basically, it should contain daily entries in which you note what he ate and what his behaviors and activities were that day, and of course, any bouts of gas. It may not be long before you start to see a pattern emerge that will help you find the answer. You can also share the journal with your vet and see what he thinks. Supervision can save you a lot on vet bills. Remember, greyhounds can be very sneaky, and they develop an absolute clairvoyance about when you might not approve of a certain behavior. Of course, you want to teach him that it's bad manners not to snitch your food or eat nasty stuff, but it's also important to help him succeed by removing temptations. Keep an eye on any exposed food and teach family and guests to do the same. If you need to walk away, push that food back further on the counter or put it up higher. Know where your greyhound is at all times. Keep tabs on him. If you can't watch him and you think he might misbehave, crate him. Leave him content. Playing a radio, making sure the room is the right temperature, giving him a treat ball to roll around if he's restless are all good ways to keep your greyhound out of mischief so he's not nibbling on things. Whenever he does a number two, pick up after him right away and keep an eye out for similar piles from other animals in your yard, such as cats or raccoons. Brush his teeth. You can start brushing his teeth right away. I find those long dog toothbrushes kind of awkward to handle, and I prefer working with a small children's toothbrush. Even a cheap one from the dollar store works great, as long as it has soft bristles. Any toothpaste is fine. The important thing is to use only a small amount, the size of a pea, or even less. You can get him used to it gradually if you prefer, by just brushing a few front teeth the first time, and then adding a few more teeth every day. Feed less, but more often. Spreading out your greyhound's meal into two or three smaller meals helps in two ways. First, it helps him from eating too much at once and getting too much food and air in his stomach. Second, it helps give his digestive system a chance to work more efficiently. One small meal helps push forward the previous one, so his food is distributed throughout his system instead of being all in one place. Get him moving. Many greyhounds do absolutely nothing between walks and meals, just lolling around in the same spot hour after hour. A lot of gas can build up when they do this, so find excuses to get your greyhound up more often. This usually involves food, so be sure to keep those treats small. Call them over and give them a little taste when you're cooking. Take a minute or two to work on a trick. This is another time when that treat ball really comes in handy. Dietary changes and add-ins can ease greyhound gas. Temporary fixes. If your dog's having an acute bout of gas, say when he's eaten something that doesn't agree or is going through a bout of worms, a dose of cymethicone, called gas drops, or Beano can get him past it. Gas-stopping supplements and treats. One name I see over and over is Oliwo Carrots. Owners rave about this dried carrot treat. Apparently it works, and dogs love them. They're on Amazon. I just checked. There are also probiotic supplements, which can help. When Peaches was going through a lot of digestive problems because of her bad teeth, the vet told me to get her on an acid reducer. This worked very well. Less acid meant less inflammation, and less inflammation meant less gas. Susan Parrots of the AKC said the dog foods and treats that contain ingredients like yucca shitagera and zinc acetate may help reduce the odor. This may be a good idea if the cause of your dog's gas is something that's going to take a while to resolve. Dietary changes to cut down on gas. 
Many owners, myself included, swear by adding some yogurt to the dog's food. I give about a tablespoon a day. Another thing I feed daily is rice. This started with my first greyhound, and I've continued it ever since. It makes the food more digestible, and it does cut down on the expense of feeding a large dog on premium dog food. It's important to note, however, that when you add rice, you do lower the protein content of your dog's meal. My previous dog's meals consisted of one-third to one-half rice. My current greyhound, Lily, gained too much weight on that amount of rice, so I cut it back to a quarter of her food, or even less. In case you're wondering what I feed my greyhound, it's Biljack Adult Select. They have several formulas, but I stick with this one. I did try the senior formula on Shannon when he got to be an elderly gentleman of a greyhound, but, well, it gave him gas. This is the food that was recommended to me by the vet for its digestibility, and it worked great on peaches. I've seen several brands recommended by other owners, but it seems like for each one who likes one kind, there's always someone else who will respond that that food did not work out for his dog. When to call the vet. If you've been keeping track of his habits for a month and you still can't figure out what's causing your greyhound's gas. If his bouts of gas occur every few weeks, he may have parasites. Gastric upset often coincides with the life cycle of the parasites. If you've been brushing his teeth and his breath is still bad, or his teeth and gums still look messy. If your dog's having chronic diarrhea along with the gas. If he's not eating as usual. If you have a great tip that's really helped your greyhound get over this nasty gas problem, please put it in the comments and share it with your fellow desperate greyhound owners. Check out the new shirt from the Greyhound Home Care store. Binge read great articles over at greyhoundhomecare.com. See you next time on the Greyhound Home Care channel.